In problem number 21 of section 3.9, we're given an object that's moving along the x-axis with a certain velocity. We're asked to calculate the work done in moving the object from position uh, x equals 1 to position 3. Now, the work done is going to be um, the integral from x equals 0 to 3 of force as a function of x. But we're not given force, we're given um, velocity. So velocity is uh, equal to absolute value of 9x minus 2. But, and we can use that to find the acceleration. And since we know the mass of the object, 9 kilograms, we can use that to find the formula for the force. So this is just equal to the integral from 0 to 3 of mass times acceleration as a function of x, dx. Uh, notice that um, velocity function is not differentiable everywhere. Uh, it has a cusp at two, x equals 2 ninths. So we need to do this uh, piecewise. And first notice that if um, x is greater than 2 ninths. So if the quantity inside the absolute value sign is greater than 0, then um, velocity is just x minus 2, or 9x minus 2. And if x is less than 2 ninths, then it's going to be the negative, um, or the, what the quantity inside is going to be negative. So the absolute value is just going to be um, the positive value of that, so negative 9x plus 2. Now we can find the formula for acceleration. It's just the uh, deri first derivative of velocity. And notice that we can't actually take the derivative at 2 ninths. So the derivative is only going to be valid from uh, negative infinity to uh, zero over, or to two ninths open interval and two ninths to infinity. So the, at two ninths, the derivative does not exist. Right, so the derivative, if x is greater than two ninths, is uh, just nine. Notice that's again strictly greater. Um, and if x is strictly less than two ninths, then the derivative is minus 9. So now we can use this to calculate the two different components of the work. Uh, one when x is between 0 and 2 ninths, and then when x is between 2 ninths and 3. So the work, let's say total, is equal to I'll uh, say work one plus work two, where work one is the work done in moving um, the object from zero to three, or zero to two ninths. So zero to two ninths, um, nine times uh, the acceleration, which here if we have x is less than two ninths, then the acceleration is minus nine. So mass times acceleration, minus nine. Integrate that with respect to x. And now add the work done as we move from 2 ninths to 3. So it's the integral of 9, which is the mass, times acceleration. Well, now since x is greater than 2 ninths, acceleration is 9. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 ninths of negative 81. That's just negative 81 times 2 ninths. Uh, plus, we have plus the integral of, from 2 ninths to 3 of 81. So we have 81 times the length of the interval that we're integrating over. And that's 3 minus 2 ninths. All right, so here the first term is. Uh, 
9 cancels out, and we're left with minus 18. And in the second term, if we simplify this, uh, 3 is equal to 27 over 9 minus 2 ninths uh, is equal to 25 ninths. So we have plus 81 times 25 ninths. And we get that the total work is equal to minus 18 plus 9 times uh, 9 times 25, which is now equal to let's see 225 minus 18. And that is 207 joules.